So, Bill Crystal thinks the, uh -huh. the my girl. candidate, well, uh -huh. if you said my girl, yeah. uh, could get back into politics. And yeah. I just want to know, well, just you directed well, to Bill I, Crystal. Listen, what do you I, think? Could I, Sarah Palin be back in politics? I saw these comments, <laughs> and I was thrilled. And if she does get back in politics, will you manage her uh, campaign? <laughs> um, absolutely. Uh, and you are her most influential kind of Uber advisor. You are the force in the universe. Uh, that, you are the force that, in the universe, that, Bill what Crystal. What you say oh. about Sarah Palin Embrace comes it. to pass. So I, I wonder, was, how do you feel? <laughs> I was asked, does Sarah Palin have a future? And I just tried to give an analytical answer, which was, I don't think she does, having resigned as governor. That must have been edited out. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't see that. No, before. no, I said this is not, I'm not urging this. I'm just saying that if she wants to have a future, it's just useful to think occasionally outside the box, not just accept the conventional wisdom here and then. No, what are you doing and say, here? Look at this. I'm just, I'm just, just provoking Thank you. Thank you. Provoking, Crystal morning, for coming. provoking. Oh, wait, we only and, and wait, wait. You don't think that if she actually ran in the Republican primary in Alaska and beat a couple of actually pretty good candidates and then beat the incumbent Democratic Senator. It would be pretty interesting. It would be fun to have her in the Senate in January 2015. Does she have the Good to have a Republican vote there. I can ask a lively, you. A lively, lively young senator. to do then? Well, listen, I call work with her more closely. I don't know, you work with but you have, have a lot more sway in her world. And I promise you that what she heard out of what you said was how to, not the beginning. Well, no, it is how to. I do think if yeah. she wants to have a future, a serious future in American yeah. politics, as opposed to sort of giving speeches occasionally and causing a bit of a ruckus with Facebook posts, she should run for office. Generally speaking, running for office is a good way to have influence. Running and winning takes away a lot of, you know, a lot of the baggage of the past. Erases Richard, a Nix multitude Richard of Nixon after yeah. Richard yeah. Nixon after losing the governor in 62, after losing the presidency in 60, was finished. He was finished. The way he wasn't finished was he ran for the presidency and won. You know, you got to run yeah. for something. So, Bill, Nicole, do you think she does want to have that yeah, kind of future, though? Do question. you think she does want a serious future? I, honestly, I don't know. I haven't been in touch with her in a year or so, and I, I just don't know. Uh, I got to ask you, because you and I have never talked about this, but how did you feel as sort of being branded as the godfather of Sarah Palin, Inc.? It's not the worst thing that's ever been said about me. You know, I have a thick skin, unlike Joe. So and she has I, a lot I, of it supporters. Okay. I mean, all kidding aside, a lot of no, people. No, look, I thought it was a good gamble in 2000. I was for Lieberman as the vice presidential pick in 2008. As you may recall, and this, I have been private communications. They just felt they couldn't go to someone for someone who wasn't pro life and who was a Democrat. Uh, I think they could have sold Lieberman, but once they did that, I thought he, McCain had to throw a long pass. And I thought Palin was a very popular governor of Alaska and a, a different kind of pick, obviously. Um, and I don't think she heard him. And so at the end of the day, I think the margin was the he same would as it would have been Absolutely. without Palin. The best two weeks of his campaign were after he picked Palin. She disappointed me a little bit a couple times in the campaign and really disappointed me when she quit the governorship. I mean, that was, I think, the moment where, until then, she'd been a popular governor. You know, fine, you're a defeated vice presidential candidate. You have a couple of bad interviews. You can survive that. Mm -hmm. Quitting the governorship in your first term, people don't really understand that, I think. Yeah, you